People living in the capital are running to their village housing even after the day of Eid, uh, first day of Eid. Since morning, the long distance bus counters are various ter terminals of the city were cr crowded with passengers. Although the pressure of the passengers in public transport is high, there was no complaint about collecting extra fare. Many people came to Mokali bus terminal with their families to go home the day after Eid because they did not get tickets conveniently before Eid. The passengers were waiting for the bus after collecting the tickets of the designated place. Despite the high demand for tickets, there was no complaints of the transport charging more than the fixed amount of fare. However, the number of buses per route was relatively less. Buses leave the terminal only when they were full of passengers. On the second day of Eid, the entertainment centers of Chattogram, including parks, zoos, have come crowded with visitors. Since morning, the movement of people of various ages starting are increasing the, in the entertainment centers. Although the sky is clear in the morning, the intensity of heat is high, so the city dwellers have suffered a little in the joy of Eid. As the temperature drops later in the afternoon, the number of people at various entertainment centers in the city is expected to increase. Boys Lake and Amusement Park and Water Park Seaworld are decorated with new decorations on Eid. Various initiatives have been taken to attract tourists. Meanwhile, the country's second largest beach, Chantogram Potinga Beach, is flooded with visitors. Muslim community's largest Eid festival religious festival of Eid al-Futr is being observed all over Bangladesh today and restrictions of much-talked coronavirus pandemic. Kudrat Mola has more on the significance of the auspicious day. Eid al-Futr is a unique festival. It has no connection with any historical event, nor is it departs from us way to worldly affairs. Its significance is purely spiritual. On this, Imam Jainal Abedin said, And verily, this month of Ramadan stayed among us a welcome state, and gave us righteous compet, bestowing upon us the most excellent benefits in the universe. Now it departs from us at the completion. Regarding the fasting of Ramadan, the Almighty Allah assures devotees which has been depicted in the Hadith Kutsi. Fasting is for me and I shall give its reward. So, let us dedicate our life to the cause of humanity which is the best way to demonstrate our love of God. Let us resolve our energies in the coming year towards strengthening a society based on mutual respect, brotherly love and universal understanding. Let us dedicate that next year we will build a social order which would bring not only the material benefits but also spiritual satisfaction. Kudrati Mola, DVC News. After Eid, the ruling army league is preparing for the upcoming general election in full swing. Apart from solving conflicts at the grassroots level, various programs are being taken to keep the workers in the field strong. The upcoming general election is just a few months later. In the meantime, preparations have started among the leaders and workers of the ruling party. The army league president himself is going from district to district to remove the distance with the leaders and activists created during the corona period. Trinamool leaders and activists are also being invited in the Ganapabon for exchange of views. The senior leaders of the party say that the work of collecting people's opinion through survey is also going on to select the right candidate. They say that the preparation for the general election also depend on the results of upcoming five city corporation polls. Preparation for the movement towards Taka are ongoing in the grassroots level of BNP. They have also received a message from the center to besiege Taka, besiege the secretariat or blockade the ruling party soon. The leaders say that they are 100% ready to implement the movement of one party, now just waiting for the mail. General leaders of PNP hope that the call, the call will come soon. If everything goes well, the upcoming National Assembly election schedule will be announced in November.
Resolution of political impasse through the intervention of foreign power. The observation has been made by some political analysts amid uncertainty over the mode of polls time government during the upcoming parliamentary polls in Bangladesh. No fruitful results were achieved in the past following the political deadlock concerning polls. In fact, various efforts were taken in the past which instigates us to opt for seeking foreign help. Many such foreign negotiators include former Australian Governor Sir Ninian Jimmy Carter of USA, UN expert Oscar Fernandez Taranko. Experts cited that no fruitful achievements was made in the past following such attempts. Rather, they believe that we politicians shouldn't welcome the foreigners to poke into our domestic affairs, which tones down dignity of a prestigious nation.